Hi girls, um, I'm Alejandra and I am making this video because a lot of you are having trouble putting on the mascara and I can't get to all of you guys. So I'm going to show you my routine from beginning to end, including how to curl with the spoon. So um, I've had this spoon forever, um, can't remember the last time and I'm a little bit embarrassed because you guys are seeing me bare. Um, as you can see, my eyelashes are not that um, curly. So I use a spoon to curl it because I don't like the L shape and I also use eyelash curler but only at the base to get a, that natural lash. So I'll go ahead and do everything. <clears throat> I'm not very good at explaining things. That's why I'm hoping that this video would help you guys out. Uh, so I'll curl my eyelashes and I'll curl both of them first. This is my second video on making, so bear with me guys. I'm not an expert, more a makeup artist. So I usually just try to get the ends and I curl from there. I don't move my eye or my eyelashes. I just curl with the spoon. So that's a natural curl. I don't know if you see it. You see it a little bit. Then I grab my eyelash curler and I curl at the base. Okay. So now you see the curl right. And get this one right. There you go. So now, um, for my mascara, for my regular mascara, I usually use this. It's a really, really cheap kind, and it's from Mexico. It's made in Mexico, and it has uh, it's mascara made with mame seed oil, and it's the only mascara that would keep my curl. If I use any other mascara, my curl would fall. And I'll show you guys with this regular mascara that I used to use after applying my regular mascara. I'll show you guys. So I'm just applying one coat all over. The reason why I like it is because it also nourishes your own lashes because it has Because it has a uh, oil in it for your hair. Okay, so you guys see the curl already, right? And I'll show you that by using the wrong mascara, 3D won't work because it brings your natural lashes down. That's how it mostly is for most Mexicans. Mexicans. So I'll find three monster lash. So this is how it looks right now and after a while you'll see that it'll start to fall down. That's just because that's how my hair is. If I don't have the right mascara it'll start falling down. Okay, so with 3D fiber lash. I usually put the fibers far the farthest away because I'm using the mascara more. So what I do now is I let this eye, well I let the, my regular mascara kind of dry out and after I had a few seconds of it having to dry out I grab the gel and make sure I apply it everywhere so I start off on the bottom and I just pull it up Sorry, I have to be quick. 
watching that content me so it won't go away. So for the first fiber coat, what I do is I apply it immediately after I've applied the gel. And I apply softly. I don't um, push it in. I just let it kind of glide. I start from the middle and I go up. And I kind of drag it towards the end. That way it creates a little bit of length. And you're stop you're you're gonna start feeling when um when the gel dries out and it dries out pretty quickly because the fibers won't stick to. So that's my first coat. Kind of let it dry out. I work on the other eye. You start seeing my other eye already kind of fell down. I work on my other eye and then after I'm done with the first coat on the other eye, I go back with um, the gel on this eye. And then it's kind of just... Okay, start seeing the difference now. Mascara. Okay, so I usually do two coats. I do one coat when I'm in a hurry, and I still want to use my 3D. So what I do for the second coat is I add length. And how do I add length? I mostly apply the gel from the middle to the top to the lid. Kind of close my eyes at the same time. And I also kind of work on the back. I know I get messy with it. It's okay. You can take it off. Then I grab my fibers. And apply immediately again. I kind of close my eyes and I drag, drag, drag. And then I do the back. And then I close with gel. Now I've had some practice with this. It took me like two or three times to kind of get it. So if you're still having trouble, just let me know and I'll come to you, help you out personally. I've done it to a few people already. And it's kind of weird for me to do my my makeup outside of the bathroom. Okay, I need to fix it up. 
for you guys. Okay. So there it goes. 3D fiber lash and monster lash. You see how it kind of fell down. Um, so what I do want to tell you guys is that um, some people already have the natural curl in their lashes. So what they do is they just go straight to gel and fibers. Um, that's fine, but if you have um, lashes that are really thick or just really, really straight like mine, like really straight hair, then I suggest you use a mascara that works for you. Um, like I said, I like this one because it's not so heavy and it has oil and it somehow just works for me. Um, I don't know if it works for you. I know a couple of cousins of my cousins that use it. That works on them because uh, they've been using it forever. Um, but yes, everyone has their own routine. If you guys want to learn more about how to use the spoon, I think I have some pictures. I shared it in the first party I did. Um, if you want those, I can share it with you guys. Maybe pictures will help you guys out more. Um, but thank you for watching and I know I'm not the best online presenter, um, but if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. Thank you.